her back. She's a little socked in today, but that doesn't matter. It's starting to get mild out. We got a few centimeters of fresh pow last night. I still don't have my truck back. It's been two and a half months. I just picked this up. I'm gonna drive it for a little bit. Uh, my insurance company stopped paying for my rental within the first month. We got Ty over there. He shaved his beard off. He looked like a 12 year old. Um, so yeah, my insurance company only paid for the first month and my truck's been two and a half months. So I just had a fancy little nice bill. So maybe this video will be for the rental. Maybe not. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, when was it? A couple months ago, back in the fall, Scadio gave me the opportunity to test out this prototype drone. And it is hands down amazing, next level. It does everything you want it to do and more. The best part is you don't even have to know how to fly a drone. You just put it up in the sky with the, either the beacon, your phone, or the remote. And you just click on yourself and it follows you. So. Better than ending up in the trees like uh, my drone. <laughs> and you can also manually fly it. It comes with a remote. I didn't bring it downstairs for some reason. And another fancy feature I like about this, when you put it in manual mode and you uh, go wide open, you know, take safeties off. Um, it also, it leaves the safeties on. So. Basically, most drones, when you put it in party mode, wide open, you know, 100 mile an hour, uh, it's all safeties off. You know, if you fly into the trees, you're hitting the trees. This one, they stay on. So you can still fly 100 miles an hour at the tree, but it'll slow down and it, it will work its way around the tree. So that is a nice safety feature instead of losing your drone because that seems to happen a lot. I've, I've clipped my fair share of trees, seagulls, and uh, birds in the day. So. And I had to climb the trees to the very top, which sucks. No one likes climbing the trees. No. So, anyways, we saw a video uh, Skydio posted the other day. They took this thing through a sprinkler for like 20 minutes. So, um, on the Skydio 1, I was actually jamming. I was beating it up with a pool noodle. I was jamming like grass in it, like whatever these things are called. Seemed to go pretty well. I smacked it with a pool noodle pretty hard. And today I figure let's throw some some light snowballs through it, Ty. No no <laughs> bricks. No. no bricks. No uh chunks. no ice chunks. But you know, let's throw some snow through it and see where we end up. So I don't know how it's gonna go, but you don't know till you know, right? Exactly. <laughs> let's do it. Alright, let's put this bird in the sky. Another favorite part about this, the batteries are magnetic. So this is your battery. She lasts about 25, 28 minutes. And there you go, shwing. All right, let's put her up. So here's the, uh, the launch screen. Basically you set your settings and just hold the takeoff button. And she goes. And it flies in good wind too. So basically, yeah, all your manual controls are right there. See, I can click on me, and then I'll just follow me. I'll turn that off. Um, yeah, height, forward, back. Pretty simple stuff. All your stats are right there. And then you can go into your camera settings. It's all 4K too, so I dim it down to 1080 because that's what I shoot in, but. All right, hopefully I don't destroy this thing. Let's do it. Light snowballs, Ty, light snowballs. Oh. Oh. It's freaking out already. <laughs> <laughs> it's got snow on it, so it doesn't know what to do. Come <laughs> back here. Well, at least it stayed in the air. Yeah, so it just doesn't like when it has snow on it. <laughs> yeah, it stayed in the air, no problem. Let me didn't, throw her back up. Didn't there, crash. There is a camera on top, too, so it was covering that camera. It's probably having a little meltdown, a little seizure, but that's that's standard issue, right? You would, you would freak out if you had snow in your head. Let me put her back up here. So, yeah, it just recalibrates. Gets everything going. 
Put her back up. Back in the sky, Frank. There we go. I should throw giant chunks of cardboard at it, but I'll throw more snow at it. Maybe a giant chunk of ice or something. It's pretty amazing. I'd say I approve. Full proof. And the best part, hit the land button, comes down, lands right in your hand. Thing's still mint. Oh yeah. So as you can see, I was trying not to cover the cameras because you know when you cover the cameras it thinks it's there's a bird landing on it or something and it likes to take off. But uh no. She did pretty well. Didn't uh don't see any snow in the engines. Even though I was throwing it straight at it. Grinded up those those weeds pretty good. Definitely highly recommend the Scadio 2. Um you know, they didn't tell me to do this video. I just wanted to test it. I do obviously work for them, but uh, I just figured I'd test out the durability of this thing. It's pretty wild. I've taken it on some cool trips. I took it sledding down south. We're heading to Arkansas this month, so I'm gonna bring it there. And uh, yeah, I wanna use more manual mode. I've been using the automatic, the follow mode a lot, but uh, I wanna get the manual shots, you know. Test that out a lot more. I haven't done much, so. Um, battery's amazing. It does about, was it 50, 55 kilometers an hour? So it's pretty quick um, and it's cheap too. It's only a thousand dollars. So compared to other comparable drones, which are twice that. And there's a magnet on the front so you can put filters over the lens as well. So I've been testing that out lately. Anyways, I'm gonna include a little compilation for you guys to watch of the recent drone footage I have. And uh, then we're gonna go do some other stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you consider one. I highly recommend it. I love it. Obviously, you guys have seen the other videos with all the uh, crazy follow stuff. So have a fantastic day and enjoy the video. We'll see you later.